the chamber's been here since 1974. It's part of the Wrigley Marine Science Center, which is also an extension campus of uh, the University of Southern California. And uh, the chamber was brought in initially to treat the research divers who are here in case they got into trouble. But at the same time, there are about 20 diving fatalities around Catalina. In response to those fatalities, the county put the LA County Baywatch paramedics out here. Uh, one uh, group posted in Avalon and one group posted here at the Isthmus. And then an agreement was made between LA County and USC to make the chamber available to treat any diving accident in the area. So since then, we've worked in conjunction with the Baywatch paramedics and LA County Medical Center uh, to treat emergency diving accidents in the Southern California area. I'm Captain Steve Powell, and this is uh, Baywatch Isthmus, which is the uh, lifeguard rescue boat uh, assigned to the Isthmus area for the Los Angeles County Fire Department. Uh, we're responsible for all paramedic and uh, marine rescue activity, uh, both on land and in the water, uh, in and around the Isthmus area of Catalina Island. We work closely with the hyperbaric chamber and their crews to treat and evaluate dive emergencies. We're available in the area locally 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We are a paramedic squad with uh, firefighting capacity aboard this vessel, as well as uh, dive rescue capabilities and uh, trained personnel and equipment. We get funding from LA County that gives us about 60% of our operating expenses and then the rest we raise with uh, classes that we teach and fundraisers like our Chamber Day, which is our major fundraiser, and events like the underwater cleanups in Avalon and two harbors. We've seen over 800 divers in the uh, 30 plus years that we've been open and we then um, have a volunteer crew that is on call 365 days a year, 24 hours a day in case of a diving accident. Uh, so the, the primary cases that we treat are air embolism and decompression sickness. We get quite a few patients in that are what we characterize as hyperacute. These are people who've had an air embolism who are in either cardiac or respiratory arrest and probably have near drowning symptoms. We are very aggressive in treating those patients. If we have a treatment, the paramedics will generally be the ones that bring the patients in from the dive boat. Uh, we will bring them up here, put them in the chamber. One of our volunteer crew members will go inside with them. They will be the tender throughout the treatment. If it's a serious case, one of the paramedics will go in to provide emergency medical support for the patient. And then we can actually get permission from our physician at LA County to compress uh, over the phone so we can start the treatments right away and then a physician is flown from LA County Medical Center's emergency department out to oversee the treatment here. And so it's a coordination of the county with the Baywatch paramedics, LA County Medical Center, USC, and our volunteers. The treatment links for uh, decompression sickness is about four, and a, four hours and 45 minutes minimal length. And then for air embolism, since we go down to 165 feet before coming up to 60 feet, is about five hours and 30 minutes. And then depending on the resolution of the symptoms, it can be extended outwards to 12 hours. So we've had cases as long as 12 hours and one even that was about 14 and a half hours. Fifty feet. Fifty-five. Fifty-six. Fifty-seven. Patient will go on with two at sixty. Fifty-eight. Fifty-nine. Sixty feet. On O2. In three cases over the years, we have gotten people who have had no pulse going into the chamber, get pulse return um, upon going to depth. Uh, one, which was from Avalon, 62 minutes of uh, CPR down here, flat line, went in the chamber, got a pulse back, and two weeks later walked out of the hospital with no residuals. So it's here to treat the emergency cases.